then plateau so this plateau is an elevated see this is an elevated flat land this is not a mountain but a flat land elevated flat land so it is a flat top table land standing above the surrounding area and a plateau may have uh, one or more sides with st uh, these steep slopes so the height of plateaus they often varies from few hundred meters to several thousand meters so plateaus like mountains they may be young or old so the deccan plateau in india is one of the oldest plateaus the east african plateau in kenya tanzania and uganda and the western plateau of australia these are other examples then the tibet plateau we'll see in the figure is the highest plateau in the world with the height of 4000 to 6000 meter means 4 km to 6 km above the mean sea level so plateaus are very useful because they are rich in mineral deposits and because of this many of the mining areas in the world are located in the plateau areas african plateau is famous for gold and diamond mining so in india huge reserves of iron coal and manganese these are found in the chotangpur uh, plateau okay so this is uh, the chota nagpur plateau and in the plateau areas there may be several waterfalls or the river falls from a great height uh, in india the hundru falls in the chota nagpur plateau on the rivers uh, subar narekha and the jog falls in karnataka these are example of such waterfalls the lava plateaus are rich in black soil that are fertile and they are also good for cultivation so many plateaus they have scenic spots and they are also very good attraction to tourists 